and welcome everyone in another episode of Let's Try. We are going to be slow minister. Uh, in the last few episodes, we were playing the Stone Shard game, uh, where we are slowly progressing and learning the game. But in between, I was playing uh, a little bit of the slow minister. Uh, I farmed some resources and like uh, trying to like uh, go forward and like. Min max my uh, hunters for the gold farming, and then the uh, the mage for the obliteration ray. So I'm trying to min max those farm resources, and in between I played a little bit of the night to like at least get it running for like the basic stuff and what I want to do with the character. So I decided that I. Uh, that the character will be using those skills, as you can see, the uh, the mighty swing, it's plus 22, that's what I got on the gear. Uh, this is still not the to the level 10, but I'll be using this for the single target and this as a defense. Uh, I think, of course, there's still a lot to improve, I don't have the weapon that I want. Currently, I have like this one for the overdrive, but that's not what I want. I want the... I think it's this weapon that gives the maximum uh, Reaper stuff and uh, like maximum Reaper damage and then Reaper damage and percentage Reaper damage. I think that's what it is. So I want that weapon. I will see how that goes. Uh, I still want to get the night running before the update comes because as you may know the update should be coming at the end of the noct at the end of the october or at the start of the november so before that i want to get this night done at least to level 40 and get some decent gear on him to get it running and like nice uh, the, char the character will be uh, based on the inner fire. As you can see, I have 31% plus the mighty swing have 20% chance, so I have 50% chance for that. Uh, the inner fire deals okay damage and it's based on raw damage, so that's what I'm going for. Plus, uh, currently I have raw damage on my gear somewhere, like here and there. It's not much, but it's okay for like this level 30 gear. So when I get uh, some decent legendaries and stuff, I might have some saved up for this character. I think maybe like one or two. Uh, this is the projectiles. Yeah, Max Reaper damage multiplier, maybe that one. And here the crit chance multiplier. And then maybe there might be some else that I didn't look into yet, but yeah, we will try to do that and like get it, get this character done before the update patch like comes. And I also want to farm some gold because there will be like a bunch of stuff and uh, we will get like overhaul for the end game for the slurm temple, so we will be diving into that. So I need to get a higher pool of the elder slurm, so I have it like easier to go in. I think I think they they don't remove it. I think I think that stays. Uh, yeah, and like overall, like get prepared before the patch because there will be also the new egg. Uh, we will get like plus 10 levels, so I need to level up all my characters afterwards to level 50. Because of that, we'll get plus 10 attributes, so we will be able to go further with the with the attributes, and then they will be expanding the ancestor legacy tree, uh, maybe around this and this zone. I'm not sure because we'll be getting just one. So if I do like one, two, three, so that's up to this one, so maybe up to this area here. So we will see how that goes. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the patch will come in this week because it's the last week of the October. 
Uh, they were talking about before, like how it would come before the Halloween. So, yeah, we, we, we shall see, we shall see. Everyone is looking forward to that. And I guess I'll be running maybe a few videos of the Slore Minister. The farm, maybe getting the legendaries and stuff, depending on how much content I can get before the update drops. And after the update drops, I will be playing, um, I guess, a lot more the slow minister to see like all the content that it will drop. And then in between, I might play a little bit stone shard. And then after we get like a bunch of stuff done, and maybe the guide for this knight character for the inner fire character. Uh, then I would go hop back onto the uh, stone shard and we'll progress there. And I think depending on when the patch drops for the slow minister and how much time we will have, because on the 18th of the November, the patch for the stone shard will come and there will be overhaul for the leveling system, for the monsters. Uh, I think the new city, the map mechanics, and stuff like that, and like the NPCs I believe as well, I'm not sure, but like, there's a bunch of stuff going, so we'll be starting maybe a fresh run there to learn the game, like, we are learning the game now, but like, start from scratch and go and like, see like, uh, what changed until like, what we are doing now, so. We will see, we will see how that goes. So, yeah, I guess this is like a quick update. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.